In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the best Type 7 AUG at level 80. And this could be one of the best AUGs you can get, period, for many, 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 many levels. Okay, the AUG we're talking about is a Gnome Work Gaskets, and it drops off these mobs in Gyrus by Erzeka. If you are not sure what they are, go back and rewind the video and watch it here. I'm going to show you how to get there, how to hunt there, and I'm going to compare it to all the other ones. It is only a Hot Zone AUG. So you have to have VOA uh, enabled on your server. So progression servers will not have this unless VOA is enabled. Um, and also it does seem to help to have it drop when the hot zone quests are up from Franklin Teague. Anyway, here's how we're going to look at it. Let's compare these other augs. Now there obviously there are better ones like the extruded black pearl, but notice that they are anniversary quests. That means they're only offered at a certain time of the year for a short period of time, like a couple weeks. Plane of War? Oh my gosh, forget it. That's you're not gonna get that level 80. Anniversary quest, look at this. Random hot zone drops. Gnome work gaskets. Look at this. And this is so easy to get. It is super, super easy. Even at level 80, it's a piece of cake to get this one. And it drops very, very much. A lot. Now look at what it's above. Two gods and soul terrace. That is a hardcore raid. Even to get all the way up there to get an aug that's comparable. Man, no way you're going to get that. This aug, <laughs> you're going to have 10 of these augs by the time you even set foot in soul terrace. Okay, so then look at this. Steel behemoths underneath that. Anniversary. Random drops and hate revisited. That hate revisited, by the way, is a TBM scaled version. That's not going to be easy to do either. Look at these. A mob. A well, wailing uh, wretch and fear revisited. And then you have Bic. You have breakdown and communication. you got to be kidding me. This, this Gnome Works gasket is so much better than it. So just look at what you're up against. Okay, so... Let's take this out and let's take a look at other things. We can even put in type 8 and stuff and see what else it's up against. You can put in 8 like this and pretty much the list is very, very similar. There is no other AUG that can be picked up by, you know, two characters uh, like a, a cleric and a monk or something like that. The mobs don't have a lot of hit points or anything. Look at that. The Coldane Shaw. <laughs> you got to be you got to be kidding me, you know, in Reign of Fear, you got to get all of that. Look, and I'm setting this up 85. Let's take a look at 90. Let's see where it fits in at 90. Check it out. It's still, it's still up there. Look at that. Take a look at Pirates of the Timorous Deep. You know, look at that Nor Lord Nagafin and Hardcore Nagafin's Lair. And then Morals Castle. You got to go all the way, way into Morals Castle to get that guy. You got to camp that kind of mob. And I'll tell you one thing, getting Augs off these mobs that are rare spawns, takes a long time because you got to get the mob first and a lot of times the aug is not a common drop let's keep going up here let's wait until we find out that uh, there's you know there's something much better and easier to get look at that lesser hero of reign of fear good luck that means you're gonna have to be doing a lot of stuff i don't know what the glowing mystical infuser is but look at the morals castle again once again random drops level 80 all the stuff above it cannot be gotten at level 80 unless you have somebody helping you and we're gonna take one more peek at this and let's see what else is up there look at that other stuff hardcore miss okay let's go all the way to level 100 okay now you're starting to see stuff look at that quest random drops in tbm those things in glistening oil uh, uh, that visor albert doesn't always spawn all the time look these are tbm um type of level 100 110 mobs up there i'm 105 mobs not going to be uh, a common drop at all it takes you a long time okay so now that we've seen all of that it's time to go ahead and switch gears i'm going to show you how to get there if you have a guild hall what you're going to do is you're going to set the transporter or you're going to go down here and you're going to use a, uh, your own wizard or whatever i would use a wizard because they can port to dragon scale hills and you can port a group there or you can translocate and that's where you get the spell right there wizards uh, level 75 and higher can do this there is a spell that you're going to need okay but we're not going to do that we're going to use the guild portal and we're going to go all the way up there now in order to use the guild portal you got to talk to this guy here right click on him he will bring up a menu right here uh, and then go ahead and sort by price like this the one you're looking for it's going to go down a little bit it's called dragon scale dragon scale something or another come on there we go and there it is dragon scale and that is one's gonna cost 131 if you have a guild 
uh, it's no problem they'll set this for you pick this item up and then give this to him he'll set it there and off you go 130 plat no big deal it's well worth the price see how it's set to dragon scale hills this will set you up at the same spot as the wizard portal over there so no big deal you're going to land at the same spot stand on this thing here and whoop de doo there you go hit yesy and you're going to be flying away and i've cut out the um <laughs> the loading screens uh you know the black screen so that we'll get there and show you that it was loading this person also sells spells so if you get out here and you want to buy the spells you can you can just sort these i bought them already so no big deal now next thing you got to know is getting over to where you want to go you should have levitate and it's advisable to have invisibility at the same time because mobs can see you and they will kill you along the way or you're going to make a big train and that's not going to be any fun so where you want to go is you want to get all the way over fortress mechanicals but you can get there two ways if you have a wizard you can go ahead and evacuate over to the steam font side like that you can use evacuate or exodus either one's going to work otherwise if you want to enjoy the scenery you can just hoof it all the way over there and it ain't too bad just make sure you have that lev on and fly over everything you're going to fly over there okay so let's go ahead and evacuate and get as close as we can save ourselves some time here goes the evacuate and bingo just like that we are in evacuate mode and is depending on how fast your computer is you'll end up over here now the next thing is, is we're over here by steam font so let's go and we're going to run over to fortress mechanicos and there's a catapult i'm going to show you how to use the catapult if you've never come over here and this is your first time coming make sure you see how this goes okay so we're going to run over here and i kept the map up so that you can see how this goes you go over here and you're going to come up to this ramp right here hit the ramp and then go here now one thing to keep in mind if you're here you're not going to get shot over take off levitation like that and boing there you go you're going to be flying over to fortress mechanicos now when you get to fortress mechanicos as we're going to get in a few moments you're going to land right here there are two catapults you're going to use gyrus spire zeka and beza one of them faces one way and one faces the other way i used like to get on this rock here if you're little one of the little people and you need a little help you're going to get that way you want to get the the catapult that's facing this way it's the closest one to you the other one will send you over to beza which is a different one take off levitation turn around face like this sometimes this thing fails for some reason and dumps you in meldras majestic mansion also called triple m and if you clear it you're going to be good i don't know why but once in a while i get tossed in there if you do then you get to do it again now anyway take let's take a look at the map here we're at gyrus spire or zeka and there's a safe spot right here on the edge it's also a succor point so if you get in trouble you can succor okay now we're going to kill some of these mobs and uh see how long it takes for us to get one now i've had varying results sometimes it's come real fast and sometimes it's taken a while but uh a safe way to do it is to just work out here and you're gonna be looking for strikers and repairers and all that and i'm using my level 110 so we can speed it up and it ain't gonna take all the all day long we're just gonna go ahead and kill these guys i like to kill these here you may need some kind of crowd control or some kind of puller uh to work this here or feign death pull them you got to be careful if you're a level 80 but they're not that bad i mean it could be a lot worse it could be underfoot or something like that underfoot or gates of disco where they just rip your face off but anyway this ain't so bad at all these guys don't have a lot of hit points and in addition they drop a lot of goodies so keep track of how many different mobs we kill and if you need to just rewind the video and check and see i brought my whole box team up here a couple box teams and i was able to outfit them all i just put all the characters back there and call a hero them and mow all these guys down They're they're a real piece of cake and they're real softies but you just go ahead and kill them nuke them like that and you can see you want repairers strikers just about everything you can get the only things that you don't want to waste time on those level 12 little cleaning uh, hamster thingies they look like rodents in there don't even bother with them they don't ever drop it at all but the, the way it goes is it goes by levels there's a striker back there and bing there you go that's what we're looking for striker strikes gold for us and oh my gosh you're gonna be real happy when you see that og check it out check this out take a look at the they can look at the resist and it's got ac on it too usually things with a lot of hit points like this at this level will not 
give you anything else. They might just give you 300 HP and nothing else. But look, it gives you some mana. It gives you everything. Check out how good it is. I had even gone in with my mage and cleared the whole tower just see how many I could get. And the first time I went through, I didn't get anything. But then I waited for the quest to come up on Franklin Teak. And it seems like when that happened, I got a whole lot more of these. So one thing you may consider is doing this when it is a hot zone quest. It seems like that there's more to me. Maybe it's just because I come up here when it's a hot zone quest. Um, another thing that has helped is when I brought my mage up here, I got him all the way into the tower and I kept all my other box characters down here. And at first I didn't have him in the group and nothing was dropping. And then I put it, all my boxes into a group and suddenly it started dropping. So I don't know if this is true. You guys share your experience. Let me know if you've had any success with that or whatever. Or maybe it's just all random. I don't know. But, um, <clears throat> you know, for me, it seems like I keep them in the, the group and I get a little higher drop rate. You can go all the way up and just mow everything down there if you have a high level. But I would try to stay out here and just be real casual about and chill out and take your time. Now let's show you how to get out of here. Now we're going to float off this. You get off at like plain of sky. Notice if you're not falling fast enough, take off the lev. Now, here's what you got to worry about when you get off this thing. I would recommend when leaving this island that what you do is gate out of here or throw in here or something because you're going to land in this big pile right here. And it ain't no fun because if you're just a little guy without a big merc or anything like that, you're going to get ripped in half because there's a lot of these guys. Let's say you're like level 80. You know, you're just good as dead if this happens. So anyway, do that instead. Gate out of there instead of landing like this. Anyway, guys. There's what it is. There's some more junk in there. Some of those little sprockets sell for a lot of money. You'd really be surprised. I, I sold it and I was like, wow, that's that's a lot of uh, plat in there, you know. So anyway, sometimes there's a named out here. I think Dungor and some other guy out here. They're kind of worth killing if you see them. Just always check if you come down. Anyway, make sure you like and subscribe and let me know how your experience goes with this because I want you all to get this. Get it while it's hot.